It's possible to display a moment in history with a website or through an exhibit. Haiti Clotter tells us how students showcase a museum with events that shaped our lives for History Day. Okay. Events such as the Civil Rights Movement and the Stonewall Riots are moments that go down in history. Keeping up with the theme of taking a stand in history, the Northwest Regional History Competition was held on BSU's campus. There were 47 total projects created by 90 students competing for a chance to advance to the next round. One of those hopefuls was Brooklyn Baumgartner, who's competing for the first time. When I first started, I thought um, Ruby Bridges was the first African-American to go to an integrated school, but I found out that it was Linda Brown. Students from nine schools in northwest Minnesota, including Cass Lake, Reamer, and Red Lake, represented with their projects. Violet May spent more than six months working on her exhibit about the Red Lake timber industry. May had a personal connection as she says her mother's family logged wood in freezing temperatures. Every year is fun just to think of a different, to different topic than do all kinds of hardcore research on it. In his 29th year as History Day program director, Tim Hoogland, also known as Mr. History, has seen the program grow to where it is now with 250 schools and 30,000 students participating. He says these projects help students get college ready and also prepares them for classes outside of history. You get to see all those investments that the state of Minnesota has made, you know, in the education of children all coming together. Judges look for the historical research and analysis for each project. Red Lake Middle School students Justice Eisman and Bruce Taylor took a different approach for their project about slavery. They came up with a website chronicling Harriet Tubman and her role in the Underground Railroad. I just wanted to learn about slavery and how they lived back then, how they were treated. The winners will move on to the state competition held on April 29th at the University of Minnesota. In Bemidji, Haiti Clotter, Lakeland News. The results of the competition can be found on the Minnesota History Day website. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.